The character that Edfan Khan plays in Kissa is to a large extent inspired by my grandfather, a man poisoned by his sense of loss, determined to avenge himself on history and his faith. And why, why Irfan? Because to me, he is one of the rare actors who does not belittle our sense of the human spirit with empty emotions. As, as you have probably seen yourself, sentimentality and a, and a hysterical tempo, which hurry the viewer into careless emotional commitments, has generally become the lucrative convention of our uh, mainstream cinema. Uh, don't you think? In this frenzied world of deceit, the inner truth of emotion and unruffled imagination, but also something more, a grace and forcefulness that Irfan brings to his performances, makes me cherish him with an unembarrassed personal trust as a director. And I believe that's what his audiences are feeling more and more that they can trust him not to swindle them with ready-made emotions. The joy of working with Irfan is that he's one of the few actors who understands that improvising on ourself is our only identity. That's the reason he never seems to repeat himself. Since he's always seeking the unprepared and alive response to the world around him, his performance is never a manipulation. What I believe also distinguishes uh, Irfan from most other actors is that he does not build his performance by simply mimicking familiar mannerisms of a community that his character might belong to. In almost every performance of his, he comes as a stranger, as a resourceful traveler to the language, the culture, the milieu. It is this risk that he takes that allows him a true encounter with the world of the character, because nothing for him is predetermined. He has been, always will be, continues to be, within himself, free. Tiska Chopra's role as the mother in Kissa complements Irfan. If Irfan is Shiva, and he does the dance of destruction, the Tandav, then Tiska is certainly Parvati who does the dance, the gentle dance of creation. She is like a delicate musical instrument, this actress. She needs just a fragile breeze to bring an almost unearthly beauty and resonance to a space. She can suggest an emotion simply by a shift in her breath. You can't always see what she's doing, but you can feel and sense it. As an actress, she's pure music. I'm of course very proud that Dilutma Shom has won two International Best Actress Awards for Kissa. She plays the role in the film of a victim who steadily learns to trust her conscience. As an actor, she gives you her inner universe with such ease and generosity that you realize only much later what a profound gift we've been given. I did not want Tilotma, however, to perform the anguish and loss of Kanwar. That would be like telling us, for instance, what a knife is by showing us the blade and the handle. But what she understood, and that is the exhilaration of her performance in Kissa, is that her performance became what a knife really is, its quality of cutting. In the film, Tilotma's performance cuts into the audience, I believe not something you really see. It's something you feel wounding your soul. Just, just look at Tilotma in the film. She's like a young tree that does, that does not seem to be moving, and yet look again and you'll see all the leaves of her spirit astir and glimmering with intense emotion. What more can one ask of an actress? I was really lucky with the actors uh, that I got for Kissa. Blessed, really. Imagine Irfan Khan, Tiska Chopra, Dilutma Shom, and Rasika Dugal, the rebellious bride in the film, 
who also plays the role of chaos, really, in the film. She disorients everyone. She changes everything. Rasika is certainly one of the most metamorphic actresses I've worked with. What is immediately exciting about her entry into a scene is that she never builds a character with familiar expressions, tics or gestures. She's really like a kind of untamable hawk. She remains unexpected because she's alert to everything that comes her way. The accidental fall of an object, the unexpected shift of her co-actor's look, a branch that scratches her face. Her reactions are always alive. And thus, till the end, she remains free and continues to surprise. And always, somewhere, we remain in that unknown space, which is the true mystery of what it is to be a human being. That is one space which is full of possibilities, but she gives us an inkling of it, a suggestion of it. She leaves us to imagine it.